Hey y'all, it's me, Emma from The Rice Life, and this video is not going to be over the top, it's not going to be long, it's not going to be dramatic. It might be like a minute or two. I'm going to let you all know how I cured my psoriasis in, I guess like a month. Honestly, it was less than a month, maybe like two to three weeks, but I'm just going to say a month, just because that's when I really like noticed that it was like fully gone. Um, I'm going to tell you how I did it. <laughs> so, um, I had an appointment, like my, uh, my annual checkup and everything with my midwife like a month ago. And I was just telling her that, um, well, she's a midwife, but I go to this place that has, it's like my primary to, anyway, anyway, I went to my primary, primary doctor who just happens to be my midwife. And, um, I was telling her, I was just like, um, you know, I've just got the psoriasis that just keeps flaring up and like my hairline is like jacked up because of it. Like it's, uh, you know, it was only on the temples or like not the temples. It was like on my hairline and it'd be like kind of the nape of my neck too. Um, and definitely on like the back of my hairline. It's, I would have a few spots like on my scalp sometimes. It wasn't like all the time, but it was enough for me to notice. Um, it would even scab up sometimes too, y'all. Um, but I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like the past couple of years I've noticed it and I've done some of everything. I've tried head and shoulders. I've tried drinking more water. I've tried blah, 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 right? I was telling her all these things I was trying, um, you know, just doing tea tree oil and just anything I could think of. Um, and I never really mentioned this in my log updates. No, I have a couple times, but I don't think I really mentioned like the severity of it because I think I was kind of in denial <laughs> about how bad it was until it was gone. But, um, she was telling me and then to my, my twin sister has the same exact issue. And, um, she was telling her daughter about it because, um, yeah, she was just telling her daughter about it too. But, um, yeah, so we, we both deal with the same issue. And, um, my twin sister had actually been prescribed the week before she'd been prescribed, um, with like, a a, uh, vitamin D. She had like a vitamin D deficiency. So <laughs> they were telling her to take vitamin D. And so, um, the exact, like the next week, my midwife said, Oh, you know, there's a link between, um, vitamin D deficiency and psoriasis. And I was like, bruh, <laughs> uh, I had no idea guys. Um, I'm not a milk drinker. Um, I used to be lactose intolerant. I've gotten a little better, but I'm just not a, I'm not big on dairy at all. Um, dairy just has never really agreed with me very much. So I'm not a dairy drinker. Or, or eater really so I don't get any vitamin D from dairy and obviously it's the winter time now so I'm not outside a lot um, and honestly I'm not outside a lot even when it's hot out because I don't like the heat so um, I am very I mean she had to do a test for me to realize that I was vitamin D deficient I've always known that and plus I'm darker skin so um, most dark skin people are vitamin D deficient um, because it's it takes a lot for our body to absorb it I think it's what it is um, it's hard for darker skin to absorb vitamin D and then, so couple being dark skinned and then not having sunlight and then not ingesting dairy. Like I was very vitamin D deficient. Like I said, um, my twin sister got the test and she was definitely vitamin D deficient. So, um, when she told me that she had gotten on a vitamin D regimen, then I decided to do the same thing, y'all. Um, I didn't have to be diagnosed for twins. So I pretty much knew <laughs> that's what I needed too, guys. And so I have been taking vitamin D and I've been taking this. It is the, and I just got it from Target for like maybe... It wasn't any more than seven or eight bucks, y'all. This is the vitamin D3, 125 MCGs, um, 500 IU. Um, so I've been taking this from Target. And I just take one a day. It's one soft gel per day. So I've taken one of these. And I've done it religiously for the past month. I've taken one vitamin D3. And then I just got some old cheapo Spring Valley calcium supplements. Just because um, vitamin D absorbs better with calcium and so um this is the 600 milligram and so this is one tablet a day i mean i take more tablets than this or more, not tablets i take more um vitamins than this but this is like two out of the five or six vitamins i take every day but so i take the calcium spring valley i take one of those and like i said y'all one d3 and my psoriasis is gone <laughs> and so y'all my hairline has come back i don't think people realize like how like jacked up my hairline was until it started to grow back like you can see all that new hair it's crazy this right here is still filling in uh, my hairline started a little further back just because it was just the psoriasis was just like it was there and i would like scratch at it and that kind of thing and it just took hair with it so you can see like where my new hair is grown in and you can see the shaded area where the hair is growing back so my hairline has not looked this full and i know it's not super full now but it has not looked this full in a very long time um probably when I was pregnant with Ellie that's when it was um full again but then I had the postpartum shedding and then it just never came back um and then I had the psoriasis on top of that but guys vitamin d3 coupled with calcium will knock it out okay <laughs> I mean I'm not a I'm not a physician but my midwife told me to give it a try 
and it works. So, um, guys, if you are vitamin D deficient, which most of us are anyway, but if you feel like you're vitamin D deficient and you also have psoriasis, definitely try combining calcium and D3 and let me know how it, how it goes in the next month. You know, hop back down in the comments in the next month and let me know if it worked for you. But guys, I cannot believe that this is my hairline. Like this is crazy that my little hair is going back. So I'm so excited y'all. Um, I never even really wear my hair back a lot because I was kind of like, not self-conscious, like it's not like it was like, oh my God, my hairline. But I just, I would not wear my hair back because I was, you know, my, my hairline was gone, okay? <laughs> but I just, I'm starting to feel really confident again with my hair. And then it's growing back and it's, um, it's growing back thick and healthy too, guys. And so, um, and plus y'all, you know, drink your water, all that good stuff. But I have noticed a big difference in my weight loss too doing this. Um, that's a whole nother video that I'm going to talk about. But, um, I've lost like eight to nine pounds in the past month. <laughs> so that's crazy. Most of it being the past couple weeks. But, um, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother thing we're going to talk about soon. But anyway, y'all, um, calcium and d3 for psoriasis or like any kind of skin flare-ups or anything like that give it a try uh, because you're most likely vitamin d deficient especially in the winter time and especially if you have darker skin so all right y'all this is emma from the rice life and i will see y'all in our next video bye y'all